Hi, everybody. So in this lesson, we're going to find the equation of a straight line. Now, this topic always causes problems, although it shouldn't, because we're given the formulae for the equation of a line and for the gradient. And there's a set process that we need to follow all the time. So this is the process we need to find the equation of the line. We need a point and we need um, the gradient. We need a point, we need the gradient, and we need the formula. So that's the three, that's the three step process. Get a point, get a gradient, get a formula. And when we study calculus, I'll be saying the exact same thing when we have to get the equation of a line. So the first thing we're gonna get is a point. What's the point? Well, we have a point. We have two points, this one and this one. Choose the one with the nicest numbers. I'm going to pick negative 3, 2 because they're smaller than these. If this was positive, I'd probably choose 5, 4 because the negative can cause can cause issues. Fine, I have the point. Now I need the gradient. Do I have the gradient? No, but I have the gradient formula and I have two points so I can find it. m equals y2 minus y1, the change in y over x2 minus x1, the change in y or the change in x. I like to name my points. This is x1, y1. This is x2, y2. This is not x1, x2. And this this y1, y2. It's x, y, x, y. So y2 is negative 4 minus y1 is 2 over 5 minus, be very careful, negative 3. 5 minus negative 3. Negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6 over 5 plus 3, which is going to be 8. And this simplified is negative 3 over 4. Fine. Next is the formula. Formula. I'll do it up here. Now, we are given three formulae in the formula booklet. This is my preferred formula to use. The reason being, you can just sub in the point in the gradient and you have your equation of the line without doing anything else. Now, if he asks you to put it in a particular form, yes, you're going to have to um, manipulate that or whatever. But if it doesn't, if he doesn't ask you to put it in any particular form, then it's, it's the easiest one to use. This one, some of you may well be more used to this and I've done this for, for years. Fine. If you, if you know what you're doing, use that formula. If not, use this one, and I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna show you how to do this one. So I'm gonna say y minus y1 equals m into x minus x1. This is the formula, and I have y1, x1, and m. So y is just y. So it's y minus y1 is two. M is negative three over four. I've just found it. It's the gradient, and it's x. X is x minus x1 which is minus negative three. Just be careful there, it's minus negative three. I'm just gonna multiply that out. So it's negative three quarters into x plus three. And that's my equation. That's my equation of a line. Let me close the bracket. Done. If he said put it in the form y equals mx plus c, fine. I'm gonna to have to do that. Uh, I'll do the three. I'll put it in the three forms just to make sure we know how to do it. So this would become y minus two equals, I'm gonna multiply out the bracket, negative three over four x plus, sorry, minus three over four times three is minus nine over four. And then y equals negative three over four x minus nine over four plus two is minus nine over four plus eight over four, which is minus one over four. You can do that, do that on a piece of paper if you like, just to be sure what I'm doing. Okay, so that's in the form y equals mx plus c. Or if I want it in this form, which is ax plus by plus d equals zero, where a, b, and d are, are um, integers, then what I, what I do at this point is I'm going to multiply everything by 4 because I have a 4 underneath the line. I don't want it there. So if I multiply the left by 4 and the right by 4, that will remove this. So I'm, I'm going from this step to this step. So I'm doing 4y minus 8. 4 times y, 4 times 2 
equals and then if I when I do four times the, the right side that removes this four which is the whole point of doing it so that four disappears and I'm left with negative three x plus three now multiply this out four y minus eight equals negative three x minus nine and then I want everything on the left so I'm going to add three x so it's going to be three x plus four y and then negative eight plus nine is plus one equals zero. That's in the form ax plus by plus d equals zero. So those are my three different forms. One, two, three. Okay, that's it. Equation of the line, make sure you have a point, the gradient, and then a formula. And this is my formula of choice. See you in the next lesson.